Tell me everything you know. Never! Then it looks like I'm gonna have to make you do this TV here! No! No! Please! I'll tell you. Here's what I know. Immediately following World War II, there was an iron curtain, so to speak, that came between the West and the Soviet Union. As communication fell, tensions rose. Both sides began to compete to become the biggest nuclear power. They both implemented spies to gain enemy information, a big part of which was nuclear technology. The CIA, or Central Intelligence Agency, is the organization responsible for handling U.S. information and information on other countries for the U.S. Allied with the CIA through NATO was MI5 and MI6. MI5 is the British organization responsible for protecting and handling homeland information, while MI6 is responsible for foreign information. On the other side of the curtain, the Soviets had a similar organization, which was the KGB. However, unlike the movies, many spies were not high class and well trained. Many were just regular citizens, men and women, who were willing to give information. The Soviets especially targeted young people in the West. One such person was Harold Philby. He turned his allegiance to the Soviets while still attending Cambridge University. While there, he also recruited four other students, Donald McLean, Guy Burgess, Anthony Bunt, John Caring Cross. They later came to be known as the infamous Cambridge Five. As they made their way further into the British establishment, they revealed more pieces of information to Moscow. However, the American project, Venona, cracked Russian codes and eventually revealed the Five. But they soon realized that they had been compromised and they fled to Russia. Another part of Cold War espionage was aircraft surveillance one of the most famous of which was the U-2 aircraft, which had a wingspan twice the length of the hull, a fuel tank capable of taking it from New York to Moscow, and the most high-definition camera of the time. It was a crucial asset and contributed much to the Allies. However, on May 1st, 1960, the aircraft was shot down flying over Soviet airspace. Surprisingly, many of the gadgets seen in spy movies did actually exist. Some spies had cameras built into pins, watches, and even coat buttons. There were even some firearms fitted into lipstick, gloves, umbrellas, and more. And due to the high value of information that they carried, some spies even had cyanide tablets implanted into a tube or in the frame of their glasses. The usage of spies greatly affected the events that transpired in the Cold War and forever changed the face of war. And that's all I know. But where's the document? Depression review.